All right, uh, today we're going to have a little uh, how-to and a review of uh, screen recording software. Uh, the screen recording software that I've been using for, uh, it's been a little while now, it's uh, called BSR Screen Recorder 4. Um, they actually have a demo version and they have a, um, a purchase version. Just go to uh, the website, bsrsoft.com, and... Um, First, I'll give you the differences here. Scroll down. Let's see here. You do get some uh, features in the uh, in the purchase version you don't get with the actual uh, free version. Um, okay, here you go. Trial version. The main difference, which is silly, is BSR logo is recorded on videos. Registered version does not record the logo. And there's some other movie maker kind of things that it includes. But anyway, so you go to their site, uh, bsrsoft.com, and you go to download. And you can download it for uh, Windows XP, ME, and NT 2000, 2003, or you can do it in Vista. Uh, so you download it, save it, and then you run it. And I'm currently running it, so I'm not going to be able to actually start it up, but I can show you what the screen looks like, the main screen. Um... This is, uh, you can see it's recording right now. It's giving the frame rates and everything. But you click on your little icon, BSR Screen Recorder, and you can do it one or two ways. Um, that's just saying my performance may decrease. Okay, it's got this uh, quick, uh, kind of quick view thing you can use. You can record screen, you can edit, produce, blah, blah, blah. So let's say we want to record the screen. You hit Next. You record just a region, just a particular window, an entire screen, multiple regions of the screen, pictures and pictures, and an auto pan. Um, so you choose which one. Like right now, I'm doing an entire screen. So, and then it uh, allows you to configure your uh, your mouse and your audio. So you can hit configure your audio, your uh, volume levels, and what have you here. So you hit next, and then you can include entitled date, watermark, subtitles and so on. And you go to next, and this gives you your frame per second, uh, what kind of compression ratio you want, and recording options. Um, go to next, it gives you the audio quality, there's drop downs on everything, synchronization, volume setups, um, go to next, all your hotkey buttons, there's hotkeys, you can actually change these, whatever you want. Um, and go to next, and it says configuration complete, blah blah blah, and then you can hit start recording. So once you hit start recording, you'll come up to this little this little configuration here, which it's basically the same thing. It's just not a uh, not a wizard. So you can hit same thing, select screen, window, blah blah blah, um, standby, play, stop, record, pause. Configure uh, all your settings that we did right here. There they are. Um, so let's say you wanted to do a, sor a source, do a region. Just click on the region, and it only it will only record this region. So we don't want to do that. Which we are recording right now, and we don't want to record two at once. But here's the region. You can select. You can move it around. So when you actually record the video, it will only have this section in there. Uh, I don't think I can actually get out of this now. Yeah, I can't escape. Okay, so, and obviously we're not going to record with this again because I'm recording with this one. Don't want to record within a within a video. And that's basically the gist of it. It's totally free. Um, right now I'm using it uh, on XP machine and uh, this Vista machine. It works. It works great. Um, and the hotkeys uh, F7 you can change. Uh, default is to stop recording. Um, but you can change the uh, the hotkeys to whatever you want. Again, it's uh, bsrsoft.com. Just go to the download, just download it there. It uh, it works great. Um, it is a little bit of a memory hog. Um, I've got four gigs on this machine, so I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, with this, it works fine. But I would recommend you know you have a good XP, a gig, gig and a half, or a gig with a good processor. Um, Vesta over two gigs really you need two gigs to really run Vista efficiently so um, and this works on 64-bit uh, uh, Vista and XP as well this this happens to be 64-bit Vista so um, 
it uh, again it, to record your videos, uh, whatever you've got on your screen. Uh, if you want to record uh, video games or uh, or anything, um, this is a cheap and uh, easy way to do it, and uh, works out great. I think the purchase version, like I said, you get a little bit more functionality, and you don't get the logo. Um, I think it's thirty nine bucks. Yeah, thirty nine dollars. Um, but I wouldn't, uh, unless unless you care about the logo, I wouldn't really worry about it. So that uh, that's it for this session.